What's up, guys? Amber Valdez here at the Survivor Samoa finale. We had a chance to catch up with the cast, and here's what they had to say. I really think Russell played to get to the final three, not to win. Um, because at the end of the day, the jury can vote however they want to vote for whatever reason they want to vote, and you've got to understand that. And when you piss off as many people as you piss off, you're not going to get any votes. So, um, you know, I admire him for getting as far as he did, but the way that he got there was not going to get, get any sympathy or a million dollars. The hardest physical struggle was not having food. I mean, you know, I was eating three to four hundred calories a day, probably like a tenth of what I do normally. I mean, it was, it was absolutely rough. I mean, for me, I think more so than most of these other people. Like, I know Jason, him and I were like sloths. We're just like disengaged, just like lying around. People are like, whoa, come on, do something. Be fun, be entertaining. And we're like, dude, give me a candy bar or a granola bar and I'll, I'll do a little dance for you. I, I took the whole subtly game to like the nth degree yeah. and I just beat the hell out of it. So I would have not been so damn subtle, you know. I would have been a little more aggressive, a little more outspoken. Um, but then again, it's hard because those people ended up going home very quickly. Uh, and that was kind of the complaint that the uh, uh, that the jury had. They're like, we want a little more room from you. So I'm like, uh, you know, like watching it particularly, I can't argue with that. I would not change the way I played that game. I did. I, I played tough. I played hard. And uh, you know, that's I wouldn't change anything. And they said, oh, if I bring Jason and Shambo, no. I wouldn't have won then. They're full of crap. What are you going to do with the $100,000? I don't know. It's $100,000. Put it all on black. You know, honestly, I was not prepared at all how much I would miss my boyfriend and my family and friends. That is, I, you know, I was fairly prepared to be malnourished and be starving. I mean, you have that in your head. You know you're going to, you know, be starving. But, you know, I've been away from my family, my friends, my boyfriend for a few weeks here and there. You always get to talk on the phone and things of that nature. Right. When you're out there, you've absolutely no contact at all. No contact with the outside world. And um, to not know what they're doing. I don't know if it's Monday. I don't know if it's Friday. And so I'm, like, thinking, what day is it? Like, is he working? today or you know who's doing what today it's got to be rough it was so, that was probably the toughest for me it's the first thing you did when you got home girl I ate what you eat I, mean, I ate like crazy do you want to know what all else okay I had pizza I had Mexican so I had burrito a burrito cheese dip and salsa I had um, it's called sweet cream and Oreos it's certain kind of ice creams like cookies and cream had that I had a double doozy which is like two cookies and a ton of icing in the middle cookie cake which is like a chocolate chip cookie with a ton of icing on it um, um, those are, that's what I actually had. Now, granted, my stomach was so small when I got home, I couldn't eat all of everything, but I had like a little bit of all of it, just as much as my stomach could handle, make myself sick, and then go do it all over. Well, that's a wrap for the Survivor's Samoa finale. I'm Amber Valdez, and we'll see you next time.